Hi everyone, it's Sarah Klein and you're watching another movie of the week and the movie of this week was Vampire Academy from 2014 so if you haven't watched it, watch it now. If this is your first movie of the week, what I do is I talk about a movie here, you guys comment below your thoughts and feelings and at the end of every video I say the movie for next week so follow along. People who actually care about me or I don't know, I just got a haircut so that's why, I don't know, my hair kind of looks because you know it's like you don't want to touch it or pull it back because you just got a haircut but just got a haircut. Okay, Vampire Academy. You might be thinking, the summer movie, why'd you do this? This movie is my guilty pleasure. I have to watch it like at least once a year. Like it's just like, it's just like a fun movie. So let me give you some backstory of Vampire Academy. I saw this movie when it came out in 2014 and I thought it was really interesting, really fun, love vampires. And so then I watched, I read this back in my reading days, I read the entire book series and then there was a spin-off book series and I read the entire spin-off book series. And hopefully as you guys watch this movie, you're like, you know, you think there's going to be a next movie. Like they kind of left it at that point, but then there was never a second movie and I'm not exactly sure why maybe because the first movie didn't do as well or something like I'm not exactly sure, but the first movie is kind of based off the first book. But I always, and I'll touch a little bit on this more later, but I always thought like, oh, like, I don't really know if this makes sense to be like a movie series. I always thought it would make more sense to be a TV show because so much happens and it used, especially see that in the first movie, oh well, in the movie that like there's so much that happens that it feels like it would make more sense to be a TV show. So I, you know me, like I keep like a document. Oh my God. It's just it's so hot in here every time every video a little bit of a tangent i think i have this like heat intolerance i have this thing where i'm so, i started really noticing it last summer where when it gets really hot out i have trouble eating and i literally lose my loss of appetite and so it was really really bad last year and then this year like so it's called like summertime appetite loss and then this year like I don't know, like it still was, it was like June and I was like, oh, maybe like it's better this year. Like I'm not even feeling it. But then so, towards the end of June, like I think I have this heat intolerance because it's not just like a loss of appetite right now. It's literally like I, like my stomach is feeling sick. Like if I'm out in the sun for one minute, like my stomach starts to hurt. And like, as you can see right now, I'm like having trouble speaking because of the heat. So I think I have this like heat intolerance and like it's one thing if like I lose my appetite like I can deal with that but like when my stomach's not feeling good and like I feel like I'm gonna throw up that's not a good time because last weekend I slept over at a friend's in New Jersey and then we were like waiting for the bus home and we were outside for like one minute and I started feeling like really really nauseous and just like I feel like my stomach and my body just like can't like the heat just like really upsets my body and like my body doesn't know how to like work or like you know like you're 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 a person but you're inside your body like your organs know how to operate but it's like when it's so hot out like my body I think like doesn't know how to operate and so then I start feeling like really sick because my functions aren't functioning I don't know if this is making sense sorry this is a tangent we'll go back to Vampire Academy so I keep like a book of all my ideas and everything. And so I always wrote, like, even though like, I would say my, all my ideas, like 95% of them are original. Like I went to where I have something that's like based off a book or like whatever else. So I had like, you know, have Vampire Academy kind of be a series. And then Julie Fleck went and made it a series. And I was like, oh my God. And at first I was like, I really hope it's good. Like all this stuff. I was like, when I saw like who would play them, I was like, by the way, the girl, I think it's, I think it's Felicia or Alicia in the um, TV show as well. But she like, I grew up watching that um, wizard show on Nickelodeon. So that girl, I was like, I know her. But like, obviously I was like, I don't know about like, cause you know, um, Zoe Dutch or whatever, she was so good as Rose Hathaway. Like she was meant to be that character. So like the Rose Hathaway they hired, like I had never seen her or anything before. Like I just really didn't know. And then I watched the TV show and she was so good for the part. Um, the actress who played Felicia, whatever her name was so good for the part. The guy who played Dimitri, is that his character's name? Was also so like, he was meant to play that character. Like I always, 
the nature in the movie i'm kind of like because that's the thing also in the tv show they made dimitri like seem younger so when him and bro was like it didn't seem too awkward but like in the movie he just seems so much older and so it just like it felt better <laughs> but anyway i actually like i really liked the tv show because i thought it was like i don't know it's just like I thought they like were able to take the same elements and like modernized it a little bit more and they just added elements and they made things that made sense and so I really really did like the TV show like I like I loved it and then I was really sad I got canceled anyway I'm not talking too much about the TV show but I always thought like because there's just so much content that it would make sense of the TV show and then they tried to the TV show and the same thing with the movie it didn't didn't get a second movie, didn't get a second season, you know? But this is my first time watching the movie after watching the TV show. So I'm, I think I watched the movie probably last year again. And then the TV show came out at the end of last year. So this is my first time watching the movie after watching the TV show. And it doesn't change how I like the movie. Like the movie's like a guilty pleasure. It's just like fun. Like it's just like a fun movie. <laughs> and sometimes you need that. And you need like, just like sometimes like a girl's night movie. And I feel like... Like, you know, those girl nights or sleepover movies, like, I don't know if people, like, would consider this on the list, but it's, like, a fun, fun movie. And, like, I don't know what the TV show is, like, you can just, like, have fun watching it in the same way. Like, even though I say the TV show is really good and everything, it's not the same way. But, like, this movie is fun. And it's just so crazy because there was so much that happens that, like, towards the end, it's, like, like, it's just crazy. That's why it's, like, so much to fit into one movie. But I think... I don't know I feel like there's nothing really to critique about this just like kind of talking about comparing the movie to the tv show maybe now you'll want to watch the tv show I mean there's only one season I forgot how many episodes I think maybe eight or ten so maybe you will want to watch the tv show now and compare but just like also it's like I think it's important to understand like fun and good movies and like entertaining movies like this is kind of like how I said clue like I could literally watch that every week and not be bored like, I feel like this is a movie I could literally watch every single week and it's just, like, I wouldn't be bored. Like, it's just fun. <laughs> and sometimes you need that. Sometimes you need that. Because even, like, those Oscar-worthy movies and stuff, like, they're great and I could watch, like, maybe every couple of years. But, like, these are movies I could literally watch every week and be have and enjoy. So I personally feel like this is an underrated movie because it's, like, a guilty pleasure. Like, it's just so good. I don't, like, it's just, like, fun. Like, I don't know what else to say. So that's kind of why I did it as movie of the week because I wanted you guys to have some fun watching. Like I have fun watching it. Don't know what else to critique about. I really don't. I feel like the main character in the movie, in the TV show, she was then the guy. No, wait. In the TV show. Oh, now I'm like, because they changed a few of the characters. So now I'm forgetting. But the main character, that mean blonde girl, she was like so mean. I'm like, People are not like that in real life, so. Anyway, those are my thoughts and feelings about Vampire Academy. So, comment below. And then the movie for next week is Thelma and Louise from 1991. So it's kind of interesting because Vampire Academy is two female leads friendship and then Thelma and Louise is about two female leads and friendship. So, kind of interesting they were back to back. But anyway, comment below your thoughts and feelings about Vampire Academy. Watch Thelma and Louise for next week. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and bye.